Hello, this is Harry. Welcome again to A Senior's Perspective with a Twist. I'm going to be talking about quarters, Washington quarters. The ones that I want to talk about range in years from 1983, 1990, 1998, and 1994. And what's interesting about these quarters are that each one of them are a quarter that has a uh, variety on them, and it's called a spitting eagle. Let me increase the, as you can see right here, I'm on the reverse side of the quarter. Let me pick it up. And let me get it situated. This is a quarter that has, some would call it an era, some call it a variety, um, a die clash. That's what it really is. And this is, uh, the three quarters that I'm showing right now, or preparing to show, are all 1983 quarters. Some call it a die scratch on the reverse side of the quarter trying to get it so you can see it if I get the angle right there if you see that coming from the eagle's mouth that's the second one this is the third one all these are 1983's quarters with this what they call spitting eagle coming out of his mouth. Some say that it is a die clash that uh, the two dice struck together, or were struck together. They hit each other, and then there was no coin in between the, the dies when they hit, struck. And uh, this is the 1990 um, Spitting Eagle die clash. And then when they did put a coin... Uh, or planch it in the uh, between the two dies. This is the result when the uh, dies were struck on the planchet. This is a 1998. It almost looks like a scratch, but um, you can see that that's coming from the eagle's mouth spitting eagle 1998 and the last one I showed this last one uh, because I felt that it was a little weaker than the rest of them but it nonetheless does have a die clash on it I'm not getting it there it is You have to have the right angle in order for it to show this final die clash. There it is, coming out of the eagle's beak. And um, so, the uh, two dies, as I said, had struck together. And uh, when the planchet was put in between the two, then you have this uh, result. The planchet having a die mark put on it. Some say if you, uh, I forgot the the word, the, there was a phrase. If you turn it around and put, uh, uh, how should I say it? I don't have the right word, but this is actually a uh, imprint of Washington's throat, his his neck. Uh the part that we're seeing that's coming out of the uh, interpose, I think that's the word, interpose the, uh, 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 the, 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 the the diagram of the, the, the reverse and the obverse, and when they slam together, they present this um, clash that we're seeing. So that's what I wanted to show today. These uh, uh, die clashes, uh, on the Spitting Eagle 
uh, and they're common uh, for some that 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 date. I think eighty three. It's there. Are, a lot of them have been found, um, but as I, I already said, ninety eight, ninety four, ninety, uh, as well as nineteen eighty three. Uh, and there may be more that have these die clashes from um, the dies that have struck. So the other thing is they can range in prices from a few dollars, depending on the condition of the coin and also the severity of the die clash, you know, how clear it is. They can range even up to a couple hundred dollars for uh, one that's in uh, good condition and you can see the clash uh, so that's what I want to talk about today the die clash on the Washington quarter if you have not subscribed I ask that you would if you have a comment you'd like to make we f feel free to do that as well thank you and have a good day